So one for money, two for the show, three to get ready now, go, 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 but don't you step on my blue suede shoes. Sixty-five. Sixty-five. No, my friends, that is not how old I am. That is how many pairs of shoes I own. Sixty-five pairs of shoes. Now, that may sound a lot to you, or you may even have a larger shoe collection than me. But we are women, and I believe it is in our DNA to just covet shoes, whether they are heels, flats, boots, sneakers. We just love shoes, don't we? Right, so today I am sharing with you my whole shoe collection and as I eyeball all my shoes that are laid on my bed, I cannot believe that I've accumulated this many shoes and that they are all in my bedroom. I have some up high on a shelf, I have some under my bed, I have some behind my door, I have some in cubbies that are on either side of my wardrobe. I have shoes everywhere and I love them all. So this is not a declutter. This is not me getting rid of shoes. I just love all my shoes. I love all my shoes. I love changing it up. And anyway, I'm gonna stop rambling. Let's jump straight into the video and start off with heels. Let us begin with this pair of heels that I thrifted. They are Manolo Blahniks and they featured in an episode of Sex in the City called A Woman's Right to Shoes. The exact same shoe in the exact same color. These unfortunately are not my size. I have never sold them. I just wanna keep them. I just couldn't believe that I found a pair of Manolo Blanix in my local op shop in Tukli. So I am not going to put these in my wardrobe. I will store these somewhere in the studio because they are purely a collection piece. Now these are vintage by the label Bon Bons. They're a beautiful metallic gold and I do believe that pewter, silver, gold metallics are neutrals and can be worn back with any outfit. They remind me of dancer's shoes. I just love the little peep toe, the little strap that goes around your ankle. They are absolutely beautiful but as you can see the inner sole has lifted and I need to get them repaired because I have no intention of letting these go because I love them so much. It's not often that I get to go somewhere fancy but when I do I have worn these absolutely gorgeous these heels are kind of similar but they're in a cream color not quite a kitten heel but not a sky-high stiletto a little peep toe kind of design and the strap that wraps around the ankle it kind of crosses in the back and then goes like that I love cream shoes, they're very old world. These ones are vintage by Filippo Raphael. They are in excellent condition, leather upper, leather soles. They're just very, very beautiful. I love, 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 love these shoes. Now these shoes, my friends, I purchased for a special occasion. They are by Schutz a really great label that does very modern shoes that are very high quality, but still kind of affordable. You know what I mean? So these would have been about three to $400. They are just stunning. They are a work of art, very high stiletto, beautiful leather, inner sole and outer sole in a beautiful kind of beigey suede. I believe that these are not only sexy because of their design, but this color is just so elongating on the leg. It just looks like you've got legs for days. They're just incredible shoes. I will never part with them. I think they're just stunning. Even though I don't wear them anymore, they're just, they're stunning. So this pair of Sam Edelman shoes I bought back from my recent trip to Hawaii. So these are also a gold metallic a Lurex fabric. They have a crossover on the toe. They have backs and I really love when shoes have backs. I just think it just looks more polished and just a little strap that wraps around the ankle. Although these are high, they are a block heel, so much more comfortable. I think they're absolutely stunning, stunning shoes. Then I I have this pair of vintage Stuart Weitzman shoes that I thrifted. They are a T-bar heel, not a kitten heel, but not a stiletto. A T-bar shoe to me is so sexy. I mean, it's just stunning. It is absolutely stunning. And then on the side of the strap, so this goes around your heel, there's a couple of little decorative diamond thingies. 
on the side. So this is a beautiful satin type of fabric. They're gorgeous, gorgeous, sexy vintage shoes. Love. I also found another pair of Stuart Weitzman kitten heels. These ones are little pointy kitten heels with the exaggerated bow at the front in a beautiful black leather. These are in absolute mint condition. I could not believe my luck. Very well made shoes. Just beautiful leather, inner soles, out of soles. Stunning, stunning, stunning shoes. I love a kitten heel. It's really what I'm about now moving, you know, into this stage in my life. I just think they are a beautiful alternative to wearing a stiletto and I do not think these are daggy whatsoever. I think they are very, very gorgeous and sexy as well if i say so myself i think this is my last pair of heels these are also kitten heels i thrifted these as well they have red bottoms but they are not louboutins no i don't know who makes these d-i-n-g-h whatever that means but i just love this color this beautiful forest green in the suede and i love this exaggerated badge at the front and the point i love pointy shoes i love something exaggerated on the front of the, the shoe. Again, that beautiful little kitten heel. I think they are just so different. They are a more autumn winter shoe. I wouldn't wear these in the summer. They are stunning. Okay, so that's done. I will show you guys how everything is looking at the end of the video. Okay, let's move into sneakers. I know we're going from heels to sneakers. Sneakers are my most worn shoes. And so I guess I have quite a few sneakers. Let's jump into that. I'm going to begin with Converse because I'm a diehard Converse fan. I always have been. I always will be. I think that these high tops are my most worn shoes ever. I just love them. They go with everything. They go with dresses. They go with Bermuda shorts. They go with denim. They go with just absolutely everything. And they're a little offbeat when they're worn with something a bit, you know, feminine. I thrifted these. They were brand new, never worn. They are so comfortable because they've got that platform and they've got that beautiful cushiony sole. They are just my beloved shoes. So I also have the high tops in the white. These are not a platform, but they are with the new cushiony sole. So again, extremely comfortable. I really love the high top style. I just love it so much, especially with dresses. I think it's a beautiful juxtaposition. White goes with everything. I've worn them to death. I got these from America. Other styles come and go, but this original retro style is always available whether you're talking high top or low profile so love both of those to death but i do wear the black ones more i also have this pair of high top converse these are vintage i thrifted these they're kind of in a denim fabric and they have little roses just so different so different they are the old soul i bust them out every now and again i think they're quirky a little vintage and old school and i just love them. I also own a pair of the low profile in white in the new cushiony sole. They're just so much more comfortable the new soles that they make now. I'm not really into that new style that came out with the Converse. You know, they kind of attract a sole and I'm not really into that. I just love the simple aesthetic of the old school style. I just love it. They are fresh and gorgeous and look great with every outfit. This pair of Converse I've had for so many years. I bought them from America and when they were brand new, they were in a beautiful soft blue denim color. Now they kind of look very faded from the sun and a lot of wear. I can't tell you how much I wore these. And because these are laceless, they're so great to travel with when you're going through security at the airports. They're easy to slip on and off. And also when you're on the plane and you want to take off your shoes or put them on when you go to the bathroom or whatever and if your feet swell a little bit they just are still so comfortable and I have been trying for years to replace them I cannot find this style anywhere they are so beat up I still love them and I still wear them and I'll never part with them okay so I bought these from TK Maxx they're by Malibu Blowfish or is it Blowfish Malibu you can see the little branding on the heel of the shoe they're just 
fresh and preppy with the little white stars. So when I saw these in TK Maxx, I kind of thought, oh wow, these are like my Converse. They're in that blue, they're laceless. But when I got them home, I realized how different the blues were, but I still love them. I wear them every now and again, not very much, but I've only had them for about a year. They are really comfortable. They look a lot like Converse, but if you look very closely, you can see that they're not. And I think they were only like 40 bucks, very inexpensive. I have a few pairs of sneakers from H&M. Now H&M do some really cool sneakers that are rip-offs from designer sneakers, right? Instead of spending all that money to get a trendy look in your sneaker that is probably going to go out of fashion and you're going to get tired of real quick, spending 30, 40 or even 50 bucks on a pair of sneakers from H&M is a lot smarter in my opinion. So when the Vages came out, I kind of fell in love with them. I'm sure you've seen them everywhere on Instagram. I wanted a pop of color in my sneakers. I went for these ones from H&M that had the green pop of color on the backs and a little stripe on the side. I just thought these were an easy way to get my little fix on, you know, a poor girl's budget. And if you are wearing green, it's cute to just tie in that detail together. So another example was when those dad sneakers came out. I was appalled in the beginning. I thought, what the hell? These are ugly. Why is everyone wearing these shoes? They are not attractive. But then they start to grow on you because you see them everywhere and you see them styled up in a really cool way. And so when I saw these ones in H&M, I just thought, you know what? I like them. I love the cream against the white and the pop of yellow. They're chunky, but not too much. I love the gum soles. I have worn these so much more than I thought I would. And in my opinion, they're a chunky sneaker that still look, you know, not ugly, they're not ugly. Those are the ones by, what were they? New Balance, those dad ones, they were not cute. They were not cute, these are cute. And so these shoes are the most recent pair that I've gotten from H&M. I think they're trying to rip off the Air Force ones with these. They're kind of chunky as well, all white, and then you have a black tongue, black inner sole, and black heel backs. I got these before I went overseas because my white trainers were just done. I had to get rid of them. They're chunky, but not too chunky. They're classic. They've got that same look as the Nikes do. I've got some actual proper trainers that I walk in. I've got this pair from Adidas. They're the Cloud Foam range. I bought these back from my trip to Hawaii recently. They're very plain. I love the white contrasting sole and the white three stripe on the sides. Just so comfortable, they're the best. I wear them with jeans, I wear them with dresses, I wear them when I go for walks. They're just that kind of shoe that looks good whether you're actually just going for a walk and you want a sporty look or if you're just out and about and you have a casual little outfit on, they still work with that as well. So I love Adidas sneakers so much. They are my go-to. So I've also got this pair that I've had for years. They're still going strong. They're in a beautiful lilac color. I was running around New York in these shoes and I was so comfortable and they look so cute in my outfits. Again, a contrasting white sole and three stripe cloud foam again, very simple. I also bought myself a gray pair on my recent trip to Hawaii. So these have the white contrast sole and they have a darker gray stripe and then they have this little mint green tab on the back where it says Adidas. Again, they are cloud foam. They are so comfortable. I was going to get white, but I thought, no, I'm going to get something different. So I went for gray. But instead, I bought a white pair of trainers from a totally different brand. I do love these. They are so comfortable. They are all fabric, all white. They have a kind of mesh design at the front. They have a gum sole, which I love. And this little kind of design in the platform, not too much of a platform, just a little bit. This brand is called Urban Sports J Slides. That's what they're called. The back on these heels, it's supportive, but it's so malleable as well, which is crazy. You would think that you wouldn't have support, but you do, and they're so, so comfortable. I also have this pair of Adidas high tops that I thrifted. These are vintage. They're a little big for me, but they still work. They are so old school and I gotta say 
they really do add interest to an outfit, especially a feminine outfit or even a very vintage outfit. I don't wear them that often, but they are a very cool shoe. But I also have this pair of high tops. They're in a gorgeous metallic kind of vintage cracked leather. They are by Philippi Modal, a very expensive shoe designer who does high-end luxury sneakers. I got these from LA when we were there a few years ago. I don't wear them very often, but when I need a metallic shoe, but that is very grounding, this just works a treat. They are stunning. They are comfortable. They are just gorgeous to look at. They have laces, yes, but you don't actually tie them up. You just leave them loose and they don't come off your feet that's just the way they're meant to be worn that's what I call my elevated high tops okay so these are a gorgeous suede retro looking kind of sneaker by Topshop made in Italy I thrifted these I love the blue the blue suede shoes a blue 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 sweat shoes a baby this style of shoe is very in at the moment adidas do a very similar style they're called the gazelles i always wanted a pair of gazelles so these are the next best thing they are so comfortable beautiful quality made in italy all leather yeah they were a great great thrift find I think my friends, this is my last pair of sneakers. These are my Vans. These are also suede. They're so comfortable. They make your outfit look so cool. My son actually used to be obsessed with Vans and he's had many pairs. And when I saw these in this colorway, I thought, you know what? I love them. I love the cream suede, but then I love the white laces and the white sole and then the pop of red. I just love that. I think it's so classic. Let's jump into loafers. I I am a loafer girl. I am a die hard loafer girl. I love them. I think they go with every outfit. They lend a masculinity to an outfit and that is what I love about them. They're simple, they're old world, they're classic. They're just my love. These are the pair of lilac loafers that I always talk about. So whenever I am thrifting, I'm always searching for a top or a bottom in this color so that I can wear them more because they are hard to style and because they are backless as well, they're just not easy to style, but they are beautiful. They're by Kate Spade. I got them from New York. They're beautiful, all leather, upper, outer, on top, everything with silver hardware, the little spade. That's quintessential Kate Spade. They are so comfortable. So comfortable, my friends. Amazing shoes, which is why I bought another pair in white, but the whites have backs. These are my boat shoes. I think they lend a very nautical vibe to an outfit. Again, silver hardware with the white enamel little spade. I have worn these to death. As you can see, I'm gonna need to get them mended because I love them so much. So they need another sole because they're getting eaten away by the pavement. Amazing, amazing, amazing. I also have a pair of black backless loafers. These ones are from Malini. I bought these from TK Maxx. Leather, not leather soles though, or bottoms. They're not leather either, but they are really good quality. And as you can see, I've worn them so much. I love backless loafers as well. I think they're just great for the summertime. They're stunning. I love them. I'll never, I'll never get rid of these. However, I do have one pair of loafers that I do not reach for often. And I think it's because of the snake skin, the snake print. I'm not really a snake skin kind of gal. Not in bags, not in wallets, and I don't think in shoes either. But they are stunning, are they not? These ones are by Sam Edelman. I got these from America as well. I mean, look at that color, that beautiful blue and those neutral browns, the gold bar at the front. They're leather outer, but not leather inner sole, but they are really well made. Sam Edelman does beautiful shoes, but I'm not sure if I should keep these or not. Maybe I can sell these, but I know that if I do, I'll regret it because they are beautiful and these are beautiful for autumn winter. The white, the lilac, beautiful for summer. The black, all year round. These are a beautiful autumnal winter shoe. No, I can't get rid of these. I'm a loafer girl. What am I thinking? This pair of loafers that I thrifted, they are by Everlane, made in Italy, a gorgeous burgundy color. I don't think I've ever worn them. I'm not sure what it is, 
probably because they are a more modern loafer. This kind of more almond shaped toe and this kind of design at the front, it's a more kind of modern take on the classic loafer that you know designers do and I think that's why I don't love them as much but they are exquisitely made leather inner outer everywhere leather and I've never worn them so maybe I will part with these I think that is it for my loafers no no I have one more pair I have my coach loafers which I still have in the box because I've hardly worn them. I bought them last year and I have hardly worn them and I don't know why, but they are stunning. I bought them from the Coach outlet. You can wear them backless as well. This, you can just let your foot rest on that if you want to wear them backless, but they're beautiful leather inner outer sole. They're that classic shape with the gold hardware across the foot there. They're so comfortable. The leather is so malleable. I don't know whether I should keep them in the box though. I don't know. What should I do? Do you guys keep all your shoes in boxes or do you just throw away the boxes? Let me know in the comments down below because I don't keep my boxes. Let's move into flats. Pointy flats. I am all about a pointy flat and these are a pair of Sam Edelman metallic gold flats that I got from Hawaii. They're beautiful. Look at that scalloped edge. I love that. They have backs. Just a a simple ankle strap. They are beautiful. I've worn these to death. They're in need of some love. I think I need to go and buy a gold metallic texture and just touch them up a little bit, but they're a beautiful shoe. These pointy flats, which are kind of like a tea bar. I've had these for a while. There was a beautiful boutique in Cronulla when I used to live there and it was called South of the Border. These are an animal print. They're in that pony hair I think. These also have backs which I love. That beautiful point with the t-bar which I'm so attracted to. I just think it's so sexy. They go around the ankle like that and they're just a beautiful shoe that I wear a lot in the transseasonal months because they pair back with everything. This is a neutral shoe and you can see the south of the border branding in there. I also bought myself a pair of Chanel dupes, the little slingbacks with the tiny little heel. They're in the beige, black painted toes. Just beautiful, classic, chic shoe that isn't very easy to style. I've got to say they don't work with everything. You've got to think about them a little bit. They are a stunning shoe. I've always wanted the Chanel pair. However, they are not in my budget, so I got these from Atmos and here is the label but they were actually bought online from iconic.com which is a website I love to shop from. They're very beautiful. They're kind of an almond shaped toe so not pointy but not round. The soles and the bottoms are not leather but the shoe itself is leather. So these shoes I purchased on eBay. They are by Zara. They're very different. These were a ripoff from a pair of shoes that The Row did. The row is by those Olsen twins, a very expensive label. Oh my God, when I saw them, I just fell in love. They're stunning. They look like genie shoes, don't they? That's what I call them, my genie shoes. This is satin. This is velvet, that beautiful bow. They're totally flat, but look at that exaggerated point. That is what I love. That is just Stunning. Again, these aren't easy to style. I do wear them every now and again, and they've got that fur lining. Do you see that fur lining in there? I think I got these for 25. I don't wear them often because like I said, they're hard to style, but I'll never get rid of them because I just love them so much and they look so beautiful on your feet. These shoes are my most recent pointy flats. I thrifted these, but I'm pretty sure these are almost brand new. If not, they're hardly worn. They are a black suede with this pearl diamante encrusted detail at the front. I wasn't sure whether it was love. Once I tried them on and look at the heel, they've got that pearl detail in the heel as well. Hopefully the camera is focusing on that. And I thought they were very different, a beautiful way to elevate an outfit, but still be very comfortable. Absolutely stunning. And I have a beautiful little clutch that I plan to wear with these shoes. I mean, look at that. Is that not gorgeous? A pair of denim, a beautiful vintage blouse. That is a stunning outfit if you ask me. This I thrifted. It's Van Cleef and R. Pearl's velvet clutch. Look at the shape. Oh God, I can't believe some of the things that I've thrifted you guys. 
Let's move into my espadrilles. I do love espadrilles, especially in the summertime. This pair I thrifted. Again, another Chanel dupe. These are by Tony Bianco. And these are possibly one of the most comfortable pairs of shoes I've ever worn. Again, they are not easy to style. They can look a little clownish, but if you style them the right way, they're stunning. They're leather with the black caps on the toe, the black heels, and the espadrille sole. And they just lace up like a high top. They're just a beautiful alternative to wearing a sneaker in the summertime. Again, they elevate an outfit and they're just, they're just perfection in my opinion. I love them so much. But these espadrilles are the more traditional style with the wedge heel. They tie up on the leg. They're black. They're by the label Zeta. I bought them at the end of summer at 50 percent off. I love the toe of these espadrilles because they're kind of like a V. Do you see that? I think that is so flattering. A little bit of toe cleavage I think is gorgeous. I just love the natural color of the wedge heel and the back and then the laces are black and the fronts are black too. And they're not heavy. I used to have a pair of Castaners. They are beautiful shoes and I got them from America. They were like $500. I got them on sale but they are so heavy, they were really uncomfortable. So I think these are just so beautiful and comfortable, which is really number one when it comes to shoes. You gotta be comfortable, otherwise what is the point? I do love this pair of espadrilles as well. These are by Schutz, they're a gorgeous, flat espadrille and what I love about these shoes is that they have this tie up that goes on the leg so the laces are fed through these little loops that already are on the shoe if you know what I mean. It's not just a lace on your on your calves and which always slide down and are so frustrating. I'll insert a photo of the straps. They're so beautiful on the leg in this gorgeous natural suede color, very elongating again. They just melt into your skin. So they're rubber soles, leather and espadrille. Well, suede leather, just beautiful. And the final pair of espadrilles are these gold sandals, beautiful metallic gold. These were also by South of the Border. I fell in love with these and bought them. However, I am not sure about them because for some reason I don't like them on my feet. It's that insecurity I have with my legs and so I barely reach for these. I've even put them on my shop to sell but no one's bought them so I took them off and I thought I'll just keep them for when I travel if I wear a maxi dress or a midi dress and so my legs won't show all that much but you have such a pretty sandal to show off your feet. I love that they have backs, the zip has a tassel at the end, and then they're just kind of that thong design at the front. Let us move into sandals. So when it comes to sandals, I love sandals that show off my feet as much as possible. I call them naked sandals. So here is a rundown of all my naked sandals. I have this pair. Like I said, there's hardly any shoe. It's more about showing off your foot. So these have got just the little toe ring for the big toe in tan, metallic silver edging, and then a strap around the ankle. Totally flat, all leather. I love them so much that I got them mended. I got the soles mended. I got these from Witchery years and years and years ago. I love them so much that when I went to Bali, I got them made in just simple tan leather. And as you can see, I've worn them to death and also got these resold. They're just the best, just a more simple pair. Love both of them. And then I have this pair, which are by Ancient Greek Sandals. They are way expensive. I think they are overpriced, but I loved them so much. I got them when they were on sale and they were still a ridiculous price. You're talking $300. These are very ancient Greek looking, aren't they? They're just beautiful in this taupey tan color. They're all leather. I also had these resold when I went to Bali because I love them so much. I always take them with me when I travel. They're beautiful. They are just a beautiful sandal that just shows off your foot, except you have this bit at the front to secure the foot instead of an ankle strap at the back. I also bought myself a pair of naked sandals from Bali, which I absolutely love. They have just the, the toe ring for the big toe, but then it kind of covers a little bit on the side of the foot. And then you just have the ankle strap, but these ones have backs. 
these are just so unusual. I always get compliments when I wear them. They are just my idea of a sandal, the naked sandal, my friends. I just love them so much. I fell in love with these when I saw them on the Free People website. They are a beautiful booty sandal in a taupe leather. I've also had these resold because I love them so much. And you know what? They need resoling again. These were way expensive as well. I have had these for years. These shoes and another pair I will show you later are probably the shoes that get the most compliments when I wear them. They kind of look like a boot. They kind of look like a sandal they look great with jeans they look great with dresses they're just my beloved free people Ludlow sandals that's what they were called I also have these sandals that I bought from Thailand they are suede leather and they also have pony hair strap just a single strap across the foot and then these ones have backs with an ankle strap these are a little big for me which is why I have them on my shop at the moment for sale but I think I'm gonna take them off and just keep them because they're not that big that they look ridiculous on my feet. They're just a little loose, but I do love them. I think they're beautiful. They're beautiful, beautiful shoes. I love buying shoes from overseas because you know no one else is gonna have the same pair. Now, I also have this pair of Gladiator sandals, which I bought from a boutique again in Terrigal. I bought them years ago. I've worn them a lot. They're very Grecian inspired. They're so beautiful. Look at that black leather, gold little rivets, well brass I should say, gold trim on the leather, all leather, the sole, the outer sole, everything, backless, wraps around the ankle. I will never ever part with these shoes, never. They are just timeless. But I think I'm gonna keep all of my sandals in a little box because they're very flat and I'll just keep them all together in a little box and put them somewhere in my wardrobe. Okay, so these sandals, are so cute, so cute. These were only like $40 from a boutique when I used to work in Terrigal. They are just that, what's this called? Perspex? I'm not really even sure what it's called, but I do love these clear kind of shoes. I love a bit of this on the foot. Again, I think it's really sexy. They're a little peep toe shoe with an embellished little flower detail at the front. Again, they're very elongating. They're so like malleable, so they're very comfortable. They're very cute. I always get asked about these as well, but they are so cute. I thrifted a pair of Teavers, brand new, never worn in the box. I saw them in my op shop and it was just before I was going to Hawaii and I thought, you know what? I'm gonna get them because all the cool girls wear these and swear by them, but I just could not get used to how they looked on my feet. They are not very attractive, my friends. I will say that they are not very attractive. Yes, I wanna be comfortable, but I wanna look cute as well. I need to, it just, it just needs to look cute. I've tried them on a few times since I've come back and I was kicking myself because again, I got blisters in Hawaii and I had to go buy new shoes. These slides, which I will talk about later. They are amazing for travel, amazing for walking miles and miles. They are the quintessential travel shoe when you're traveling in warm destinations. And then I guess we move into slides. These are not Birkenstocks, by the way. These are Kmart, Kmart ripoff Birkenstocks. $9, they are so comfortable. Don't go pay $200 for Birkenstocks when you can get a pair that are almost exactly the same. And you know, you only have to spend $9. You can get five pairs in all different colors and they're great. So I highly recommend. Every now and then Kmart bring out a really good shoe and I gotta tell you, these are great. I got a white pair, I got a black pair, I bought a tan pair, which I gave to my mum. I also have these shoes from Kmart as well. You know, slides are just so easy in the summer, aren't they? They were only $9 as well. I also have these slides, which again are in that Perspex clear plastic material that I love. So these were, yes, from Zara. I got them on sale. They were like really cheap. I've seen Kmart do a pair very similar to this as well. They're great for around the pool if you're on holiday and that's what I bought them for. But I didn't even end up taking them to Hawaii, so there you go. Finally, I have 
these slides, which I thrifted, they are so comfortable. They are so beautiful to look at, in my opinion. They are the perfect taupey color that go with everything, with gold hardware. They're by this brand called ITNO. And I looked them up and they're about $100. No, they were more than that. They were more than $100. So this is leather and then you have the cushiony sole and the rubber, the rubber soles on the bottom. They are so comfortable. They look new. They are just amazing slides. I also have furry slides. I'm really into them. So I got these from Zara. I wore them so much last winter. They are great. They've lasted so well, especially because we were in lockdown and I was just wearing these. They are so cute. I also bought this pair back from my recent trip to Hawaii, which are by the label Vince. I haven't worn these yet. I'll save these for next autumn winter. You can even wear them in the summertime. People wear these out. I mean, these are a fashion statement. These are not slippers. Really beautifully made. You can see that Vince branding, the suede in the sole. This is sheepskin from New Zealand and then rubber soles. We are down to the last category, which is my boots. I love wearing boots all year round, under the knee boots, ankle boots, mid calf length boots. So let's get into my boots. I'll begin with these. These are thrifted. They're made in Italy. They're vintage. They have a beautiful patina. I love this tan brown. Such a gorgeous color. The heel is a little block heel in leather as well. An arm and toe and a slouchy shaft. I love a slouchy boot. It's kind of a little boho. They're just so beautiful. These were an absolute treasure find. I've mentioned this before, but the way I keep my boots in shape, especially my under the knee boots, pool noodles from Kmart. I cut them up into fours and stick them into my boots and they stay up and I keep them on the floor in my wardrobe. I also thrifted a pair of black under the knee boots. These look like riding boots. I think they are absolutely gorgeous. These are by Country Road. More rounded toe than almond, I think, but they suit the style of the boot. A simple buckle around the ankle in silver. I love flat boots. They are so comfortable. They are so low maintenance. You can tuck your jeans into them. They look great with dresses. They're just a staple. But these are hell to take off, which is why I'm guessing they were donated because you need an army. You, if you live on your own and you put these boots on, how are you going to get them off? You're going to have to sleep in these boots. So that is the only downside to these boots. But I have a strong and able son who helps me with these every time. So these boots were very on trend last winter. They're still very on trend this winter, northern winter. So I guess for our winter next year, they'll still be on trend. They are the tractor style chunky Chelsea boot. These I got from H&M. I got them when they first came out because I knew they would sell out like that. They're just amazing. They're kind of a little higher than an ankle boot. They go with so many outfits. They just lend a very masculine, tough kind of vibe. They're so versatile, these boots. And they were so comfortable. I didn't have to break these in. Amazing quality for H&M. You have that elasticated bit, which makes it so easy to get in and out of these boots. A beautiful round toe. They even look like leather even though they're not. I have a pair of combat boots, my first pair ever, which is why I bought them from Kmart, because I didn't want to invest in a pair. You take the car for a test drive before you buy it, right? So that's my philosophy when it comes to shoes that are trend driven. Spend the least money as possible. And then if I'm really into the trend, if it sticks around for more than a season and I'm really liking it on me, then I go and invest in a quality pair. But these from Kmart I thought were amazing. I love the contrast white stitching. They didn't skimp out on the details. I love the length of the shaft. It's just that little bit over the ankle with the elasticated side. You really don't even have to undo these laces because they are zip on one side, which is just 
marvelous. It is so clever. But these were like 25, if I remember correctly. I'm not sure if Kmart still do this style, but I bought these when we were in lockdown. And look at them, they're amazing. You wouldn't think these were Kmart, right? I don't wear them all that often, I gotta tell you. It's just a style that I'm growing into, I guess. But I do love them and I'm gonna wear them next winter. They have that tractor sole as well. Even that looks like leather. They're just really well done. I also have a pair of black ankle Chelsea boots. I got these from Sports Girl. These are not leather, I don't think, but they were priced as though they were leather, but I'm glad I got them on sale. Look at that block heel. It's stunning. I love the heel. I love the shaft. Again, the elastication. Sometimes it can look really tacky, but if it's done well and stitched nicely around it, I don't mind it at all because it's so comfortable. And I love the point of these shoes. They're pointy, but then they have an extra bit of sole that goes even beyond the point of the shoe. I just love that detail. I really do love that. I have not worn these very much at all. I've got to say, because of the heel. Comfort is number one, and I want flat shoes. I'm always in flat shoes. It's what I reach for. So even though these look so edgy, I don't go for them because they've got a heel and I just can't be bothered. That's how I've been lately. I guess that's how it goes when you're living with chronic pain. You just want to be comfortable. Comfort is number one. Now, these shoes are also from Kmart. Again, I wanted a pair of Western boots, but I wanted them in white. I wasn't sure if it was a phase or not. I didn't want to go and spend $400 on a pair of white Western boots, only to find that they're not me and I'm over them. So I bought these from Kmart for $25. And if I tell you how many compliments these shoes have gotten, no one can tell they're Kmart. If you, if you felt them, you'd be able to tell because the heel is rubber. So they don't make that clunky sound that expensive cowboy boots with that wooden heel make. The sole's rubber. This is fake leather. But the aesthetic is gorgeous. They worked with so many outfits. They are so comfortable. They have zips in the back. The point's amazing. They have that cowboy stitching. I love the contrast black heel. And these got me through that phase, you guys. And I'm kind of over that look but I still wear them every now and then actually I just wore them on the weekend to a bridal shower and they looked great no one can tell these are from Kmart and when people do ask me oh where are your boots from I really like them 25 bucks Kmart I'm not ashamed of that I'm proud of that so these ankle boots my friends are possibly my favorite ankle booties they're stunning they are just that unexpected shoe for me. I wear them with jeans. I wear them with dresses. They go with so many things. I love the cream. It's so old school. I love the little kitten heel. I love the point, the sock booty. It is so, so flattering. They're just beautiful. I got them from Hawaii. They're from the brand Something Navy. They weren't cheap, but I got them on sale. I just love them so much and I've worn them to death. I have worn these shoes to death. They're so comfortable. I can walk around in these for hours they're just great and to me that is a sexy shoe so these are my Isabel Morant Basley booties that I got from eBay many 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 years ago when these were in these were $250 but they retail for like $900 they're in a gray well they were gray I'm not sure what color they are now but they look like a moccasin but they're a booty they have a hidden wedge heel so you are a little bit elevated they have a zip closure in the back with little tassels on the zip cute little detail very boho this is the other pair of shoes that I was telling you about that gets so, so many compliments every time I wore these shoes. I don't wear them now though. I don't reach for them anymore. I don't, but I will always keep them because I was obsessed with these shoes. Obsessed. They are still cute. I have worn them to death. And I am never ever without a pair of Ugg boots. Ugg boots are a staple in my wardrobe. This is a tan pair that I got from Hawaii. Uggs are just so comfortable. And these are the authentic Uggs. You can tell by the soles. So the Ugg soles have this signature groove. And that is how you know when they are Ugg Australia boots. And Ugg Australia is no longer Australian owned. It was bought by an American company. They're not cheap, but they have the reinforced heels. They are also double stitched, true 
sheepskin and suede leather. They are immaculately made, so they are worth the price point. And these are really cute because you can, you can roll this bit down if you want and wear them like that, which I don't. I just keep them up. I am not the least bit concerned about what people think if I wear my Uggs out because I love them. They're gorgeous and I love that color. I love that tan color. That is it. That is everything. That is every single pair of shoes that I own. So all of my heels are on the top shelf of my cubes. They run all the way to the other side. I'll show you that later. I've got my loafers in this cubby hanger first and then it runs into sneakers which aren't necessarily for walking but more for casual outfits and then a couple of high top ones. Then on the floor over here I've got all my boots so they look great. Just behind them I've got some more boots on the bottom of this little shelf where I keep my denim so they're not in the way they're nice and tidy and organized so love that and there's the rest of my heels which run along this length and I've got my little ankle booties which have a little kitten heel and also the wedge espadrilles and over in this cubby hanger I've got all my flats and then I've got the high top espadrilles and some sandals and then on the floor I've just got my little free people sandals and the Birkenstocks just under each kind of drawer there. And then I've got all my trainers in this over the door shoe rack, which houses about 10 pairs, I think. If I count them correctly, two, four, six, eight, 10, no, 12 pairs. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12. And I also have this pair, which are from Cotton On in the black. And I love wearing furry slides, they are my little house shoes. So if you enjoyed this video, then let me know by giving this video a thumbs up and I will do a bag video along the same kind of vibe. So let me know in the comments down below. I do hope that you enjoyed this video, my friends, and I really hope I see you in my next one.